GNT Sports, right back at you. Episode three. We got some more stuff to talk about. Let's go. GNT Sports back at you with the crew. <laughs> I got my boys with me. And guess what, gentlemen? I'm back in U.S. soil with my tan, Joel. All right? I got a tan. I see. It's on me. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Might be glistening in my light, but I got a tan, brother. All right? Like I'm, here like with my boy. <laughs> I'm back with my boys officially. Please go ahead and introduce yourselves. Go ahead and start off, Kev. Uh, what's going on, Kev? Uh, thank God I'm not hosting again. <laughs> <laughs> you did a good job last week. Yeah, you did a good job. Yeah, right, right, right. Ahead, oh, what up, man? What up, what up, what up, man? This song, song the promoter. Y'all know what it is, man. Uh, no one Conway fan. Need I say more? Y'all see what the name says. Five stars. That's who we are, baby. Five star franchise. Let's get it. That's what that means. Wow. It can mean whatever. It can mean whatever you want to mean, but it's five of them up there. That's all I know. Hey, five stars on let's the Cowboys. That. So let's go. Let's disappear that. Uh, hey, let's hey, we 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 we'll be nameless right now. It's cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's cool. Let's, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what's up there. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Joel. What's going on, everybody? It's Joel here. You already know, Bird Gang. Let's get it. Welcome back, Larry. Like your team. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm glad you finally admitted it. I appreciate you, bro. Uh, you got so the anyway, spray bronzer on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, we're back, and we want to go ahead and start off a really good conversation. There's a lot of stuff that actually happened in this last week that I think is actually important for us to go ahead and talk about and get into, especially stuff that's also coming up. So we want to talk some fantasy football. We want to go ahead and go over some things, some impressions that we have from week one when it comes to the preseason and and then the games, like the things, the people that highlight it, you know, that really like showed out, that really caught our attention. But first, before we do anything, Tone is on you, bro. Give me your facts. Yeah. Yeah. So just like I said, every week, man, we're going to come with, Tone facts, tone, whatever you want to call it. But you're going to get something from me. There we go. Tone matter of facts. That's what it's going to be called. That's what I like. Because I'm going to be bringing some things that uh, from, from all sports, that things that we may know, things that we may not know. You know what I mean? But uh, And it's, it's a lot of things that I didn't know. So I'm going to just bring it to you. And I'm, I'm actually going to do, but I got one, two, three, four, five, five. So five sports. Five sports give you like little interesting facts, little topics. You know, about some sports. Here we go. We're going to start with football. And in football, we all know, know like, when four teams come out, you know, they, they, they call and they play, they all get in the huddle. But do we all know why and when that started? So in, back in 1892, there was a deaf quarterback by the name of Paul Hubbard. And uh, he used the formation huddle. So he can pretty much let the team, he can show the team his hand gestures on, on the plays he wanted to run because obviously he couldn't talk. So that's why the huddle, that's where the huddle started. You know what I mean? And then obviously it just transcended into now, you know, there they talk about the plays so nobody can't hear. But in the originally formed, that boy, it was a deaf quarterback, couldn't talk, and he used to hand signal his plays. I was like, wow. Wow, I did not <laughs> that's, know that. That's, that's crazy. Wild. Yeah, that's yeah, wild. I was like, that's crazy. And 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 he, they even gave out his, his college. He went to some college called Gallaudet University. Now I don't think he ever played like you know professionally or whatever, but it's documented that he's the first person to to, to do that. So I thought that I thought that was cool. No, that's he has a fire fact right there. Yeah. yeah. Now um, we'll, we'll go to baseball. Now you know in baseball, right? In 1971, the Pittsburgh Pirates became the first professional team to fill non-players who were either black or Latino. And that's the same season they won the World Series. So I was like, damn, that was, that was crazy. I said, yo, 
first time in a game that they fielded nine players, either black or Latino, and that's the same year they won the World Series. So kudos to Pittsburgh for doing that. Man. Absolutely. Breaking barriers. Absolutely. Right. right. I see Breaking you know, barriers right. and winning championships. Right, right, right. The same time. All right. Go so figure. Flip, we're going to flip it to the NBA. Now, uh, we know we, we I don't know if we, we know well I, I ain't gonna say we don't know, but we're quite sure we could put it together what a quintuple double is. And that's when the five categories points, rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks. Obviously there's never ever been a recorded quintu quintuple quintuple double, however you say it. <laughs> but whatever that <laughs> that word. But um there has been four noted quadruple drums that has been recorded. And uh, first player named Nate Thurman, he had one. He had 22 points, 14 rebounds, 13 assists, and 12 blocks. Second player was uh, Alvin Robertson. He had 20 points, 11 rebounds, 10 assists, and 10 steals. Hakeem the Dream Olajuwon, he had 18 points, 16 boards, 10 assists, 11 blocks. Jeez. And last, last but not least, David Robinson. He had 34 points, 10 boards, 10 assists, 10 blocks. Jeez. So those, are four, those, those are four players that had the four notable who were recorded quadruple doubles. I was like, damn, them boys is hooping. Them boys is hooping. Yo, Hall of Famers, man. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Like dominant big men. Yeah, and that's, and that's pretty. I, I think Nate Thurman and Alvaro, I think they were probably about six, seven, six, eight, you know, guys. Right. Um, so, so yeah, everybody was definitely a little tree down there, you know, get putting that work in. Um, and it's uh, funny, little, little, we always look at, we always look at like David Robinson and a king, well, especially a king for their offensive prowess, mm -hmm. but like, king was a monster down there in the boards, man. Like yeah. he was an absolute like menace, like defensively, he was like one of the best players that we ever seen. Yeah. Yeah, because his footwork is crazy. Obviously, that was that was what he's known for. And then uh, he was a hell of a soccer player. So that 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 uh, I think that that gave him a little bit of uh, you know better, I guess, a better attributes of skills. You know, from playing the game, man, he was nifty on his feet to be a big guy. So he was definitely yeah. like, a, but maybe a little bit quicker than, than most. Right, that's so, another good fact, bro. Wow. Go just, just and there's a little fun fact about golf. Nothing crazy. But golf was, is the only sport to ever be played on the moon, right? Now, obviously, it wasn't, it wasn't played on the moon. Actually, an astronaut named Alan Shepard, he did a tee-off, you know what I mean, while he, was, while he was up there and said the ball went miles and miles and miles. Probably just never came back. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, yeah, but, yeah, but that, that was like a little, little fun fact about, uh, about golf, right? It's still, it's still probably flowing out there. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. You know what I mean? <laughs> And Hopefully that, he signed uh, his name on it. On the I know. So ball. somebody, <laughs> if somebody find that joint, right? Dude, <laughs> can you imagine? That shit's right? gonna be on eBay for like a billion dollars. <laughs> yeah. And, and, but but you know who's gonna be the one who who turned it in? It's gonna be an Elliot who turned it in. <laughs> then they just Elon Musk. <laughs> <gonna find that laughs> Let eBay, eBay. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> eBay. <laughs> Hey yo, and and soccer. Only six of all World Cups. Well, six six of the hosting countries of the World Cups. You know, what I mean, have ever won it. It's been twenty two World Cups, and like I said, six countries that hosted it um, has won it. Now, the first year that the World Cup started was in nineteen thirty, and it was in Uruguay. And that was the country who won it. <laughs> I said, "Was it rigged?" I said, "Come on, y'all! How they start to the join? They win that joint." I was like, right. "No, nah, they must. They must have rigged that." But yeah, Uruguay was the first year. Um, well, you know, for yeah, first year started in 1930. They won it, and obviously, it's every four years. So the next uh, country was the host. It was Italy in 1934. They won it. Uh, the next country to win was in 1966. That was England. They hosted it and they won it. Uh, 1974, West Germany hosted it, and they won it. Uh, 1978, Argentina hosted it, and they won it. And in 1998, last country to host it and win it was France. 
And Peace that's out. why then, and that's why they'll never have those games back in the United States because we're never. Yeah, because they all. Right. Yo, has, has the World Cup ever been played in the states? I don't, I don't think so. Has, I don't know the World Cup, but the Olympics. Yeah, the Olympics. Yeah, I remember it being in Atlanta. Yes. Oh yeah, I think we all remember that. Right. <laughs> it's some blew up down there, right? Yes. <laughs> but yeah. It's a little crazy. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if they have, they have had a World Cup in the, in the states. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, think United so. States. I really don't think. But, so. I yeah. think it's always been overseas. Well, I think what's well, supposed to be coming here soon, though. It's, we got something coming here. I know it's Philadelphia got selected. Philly got selected for something. Yeah. What? Mm, some some major yeah. like like yeah. like like soon soon. I want to say is is some type of Olympics. Really? The, Olympics. Right. the only I'm thing I the, the only thing I know is WrestleMania, but that's not. No, I that's, that's, April, that's, April, that's April. That's April. That that's April. That's the only. That's the only thing I, I know. But I wait, that's on, but wait, that's on the magnitude of the Olympics, WrestleMania. To no, them, no, yeah, I guess. I <laughs> we got something big. I have. Here. I haven't watched wrestling since I was like what twelve. <laughs> what you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, we, I had to look into that too. Then I don't yeah. know. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't hear nothing like that. But stay, stay tuned for that answer. I'm, yeah, I, I can't wait for y'all to tell me who that is or what that is, Joel. I'm, I'm gonna look it up. That, I got you, <laughs> my man. And, you know, and last but not least, do y'all know that the gold medals in the Olympics are actually silver plated? And that the they they were actually at one point they used to be a hundred percent gold. And the last year that they were hundred percent gold was in nineteen twelve. Was nineteen what? Twelve. Twelve? So there's been a lot of silver medals out here with some gold plates on it. You ain't lying. <laughs> yeah, so since nineteen twelve, I mean the gold is the gold, obviously, but right, right. they are silver plated though, yeah. Yo, 2026, Philadelphia hosting the World Cup. Oh, really? 2026, the so World USA Cup. So USA is there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Damn, so the next World Cup is is it's here. Is, 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 is here. Wow. We, wow. I remember, be, be, I remember that's because gonna be amazing. they did this whole thing. That's why they're fixing up all these fields because um they need like areas where to practice and do all this stuff. So the World Cup's going to be – we got selected as one of the cities to uh, host some of the games of the World Cup. Oh, oh got you, got you. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, so obviously, obviously it's going to be in the entire state. Well, in, in, in the states, style U.S., yeah, it's right. a bunch of – I want to say – I don't know the exact number, but I know we were one of the cities selected. So – um I just know because be we cool. were talking about we were talking about Airbnbs and houses to rent and stuff like that and just business stuff. Uh-huh. I couldn't leave it like that because when right. like when the Pope came here, people were renting out rooms for like eight nine hundred dollars just for a few days, you know, like hosting people and stuff. Yeah, because mm-hmm. a lot of a lot of people came here to when the, when the Pope visited. So it's kind of going to be the same thing where you got a bunch of people, you know, traveling to the U.S. for that and a lot of limited, you know, hotels and places to stay. So, but, yeah, 2026, we're hosting the World Cup, so that will be cool. Okay, wow. yeah, that's going to be uh, that's gonna be fire right there. Yeah, heck yeah. Right. 2026, get ready. <clears throat> yeah. I didn't know. That's a, that, that was a good fact by you, Joel. Good job. For sure. See, I appreciate see, it. See how, I'm not, see how, I'm not see. still so, – Tone motivated me to come through in the clutch. Yeah. <laughs> that's what we do. Right. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, you know, these things going to be extensions to things. Like, boom, boom, boom. Like, opening up, you know what I mean, certain questions, man. Just like that, boom. Me me saying something about the World Cup. Like, if I wouldn't have mentioned anything about the World Cup, we, we would have found out that – well, at least not today – that it's going to be hosted here in 2026. Go ahead. Right. Go ahead, Philly. Go figure. I like I, that. I like that. I'm assuming it's going to be probably at the link, right? 
No, they have a bunch of like the Drexel fields. Like they're going to oh. use a lot of the college's fields down there for like practice because they just can't just go out and play anywhere. But uh-huh. Lincoln Financial is one. Um, I believe where the union plays at, they're going to use that field, obviously. Okay. But a lot of the fields of the colleges, they're supposed to be, you know, like in the, in the middle of it, they're going to be training and practicing in those areas before the actual games. I can see Franklin Field. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, Franklin mm-hmm. Field, all those. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah that makes sense. Right. Yeah, that field is big enough to – heck, they can actually have a game there. It holds like 100,000 people. Right. Like Frank right. Field is they, they might, they they might, they might. Yeah. All right. Look, that was a good talk. Go ahead, Tone, with with the matters of facts. Yeah, matters of facts. Let's get it. All right, Kev, this is on you now, bro. You had a project on you. Mm-hmm. Now it's time for you to go ahead and tell us what you came up with. It's All fancy right. football time, people. Yep. It's that time of year again. So I decided to do a little thing with you guys to give you guys a little bit of notes before you head into your drafts and who you should not draft and who you should. Now I got three players in mind who you should not go go for or three players you should draft. Now I'm going to do the ones you shouldn't draft first. My first one, I love him, but it's Miles Sanders to me. I think you should avoid him this year. I behind the best O line last year against Carolina's offensive line, who we, we're going to talk about about the preseasons later. But they look bad; <laughs> they looked awful. Bryce Young did not have any time at all. I think it's going to be a tough year for Miles Sanders, and he's already nicked up already. So it's, I think it's going to be a little, little bit of a bad year for Miles Sanders. Uh, the next guy, uh, I got a uh, Pierce. Damian Pierce from the Houston Texans. Uh, Same thing. The the offensive line, not great. I mean, they're still in their rebuild. We all know what the quarterback's going to be like. They have no weapons at all. I mean, who's the number one receiver? Does anyone know? You got uh, Nico Collins, and they're supposed to be, uh, what is it, Minchie, Minchie? You also have Robert Woods over there. So yeah, Robert Woods that hasn't been relevant for like two, three years. <laughs> but mm. so mm. I I don't think he's gonna have a great year. So that's he's on that list for me. Now the third one, it's actually a wide receiver. I'm gonna go with uh Pittman from the Colts. I I mean he's number one receiver there, but again, rookie quarterback, we don't know what he's gonna be like. That first game, he looked off, did not look good. I mean, was it him that threw the first pick when his first pass attempt, or was that Stroud? Does anyone remember? Mm-hmm. No, I don't think it was Stroud. I don't think I know. I know Stroud threw a pick, but I don't think it was like his first pass. That might have been okay. Richardson. Okay, so and <laughs> Michael Pittman last year, I didn't. I didn't like either. Again, with the same thing, the quarterback situation and. I think I believe he was nicked up a few times too, if I remember. He was hurt the whole year. So it sounds yeah. like you had Michael Pittman, Larry. <laughs> that obvious. Huh? Yeah, we can hear your pain, man. Yeah. The whole year. Yeah, the whole yeah. year. <laughs> he was yeah. waiting on him. He was waiting on him not- to get healthy. <laughs> I please. knocked on his door. And <laughs> door. Like, he's he's looking at it on his phone like please. Larry sent him an email. Are you feeling better? <laughs> Get well soon. Yeah. Get, he sent him some flowers. Man, chicken noodle soup some and all, bro. Arrangement, edible arrangements. Here's the hydration. Get back. Edible arrangements. Well, uh, <laughs> I, yeah. I do have an honorable mention of who you sh- – and this was a late one, and that's Brees Hall from the Jets since Dalvin Cook is now the – running back for the Jets. And Brees Hall is still hurt, and he's on the pop list. So that's another another guy you should not look at. Hall is cooked. No pun intended. But don't bunch. All right. So the three guys that I think you got you should uh, grab in this draft. My first one. Uh, don't make it obvious ones, Kev. I, 
I like know. the first yeah. one that's on my list is Travis Kelsey. Like we all know. No, no. All right, we all we, no. we all know. Aaron Rodgers. Like we no. we know. No. Uh, uh, okay, I am a quarterback. Uh huh. They're not even quarterbacks. Uh, okay. He's going we'll kicker. He's going kicker. Uh -uh. <laughs> the first guy, uh, he just got he came back from suspension. I I, I think Calvin really's gonna have a really very good year. He's got an actual quarter, uh, quarterback now in, in Trevor Lawrence, and he's looking pretty good. From what did he play the preseason? Correct. I yes. didn't watch. I didn't watch it personally. He did. Yep. So I think he's gonna get his feet well a little bit, get back into into things. And I think him and Trevor Lawrence are gonna be a top ten quarterback wide receiver do in the league. Mm -hmm. I said it. I believe yeah. that, man. I, I mean, I, I, I mean, you know what? Though? You know what? What I'll say though, he he's gonna have weapons over there. I don't know if. If because because this boy Zay Jones and um and Kirk and, and Kirk. Kirk they they are you know, they 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 his guy so really gonna be I think he he could be a sleeper pick like he'd be that sleeper ball you know what I mean that that uh that obviously the 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 number ones and the two is gonna be taken but he's gonna be that ball that you gonna get and, and I think he's gonna be able to help you out you know what I mean in, in certain situations right I gotcha. I can now, see it being like a wide receiver three. Right. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Put, absolutely. The one you put in the, the flex, the flex, John. The flex, John. You think, yo, well, you think two? I would say two. Two? Huh? Listen, he got the volume. It was, I know it was just preseason and it was just one game, but he got the volume. Uh, Kurt got the touchdown on the game. But I could see, you know what I mean? You know how dominant he was. And he does have a better quarterback and is a better team. In a weaker division. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll like really. Wide receiver, too? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got All right. him one, too. Next guy, uh, I mean, this guy was a top 10 pick for a few years. And this year he's suspended for the first three games. But I think this year he's – now that he has a quarterback outside of Andy Dalton, I think he's gonna have a pretty good season. Uh, I got Alvin Kamara in that in that list. Uh, the the guy's a dual threat, no matter what. Catch the ball at backfield, runs it. I think now with a decent court, not saying a, a a great court, but a decent quarterback that I think is better than what Andy Dalton was last year. I think they're gonna be, I think they're gonna be all right. Plus, their schedule is kind of favorable. That's right up your alley, Joel. Right. Um, the only thing that concerns me about that, they're giving this rookie running back that's over there a lot of praise. And I don't know, man. I, I think I would agree with you depending on how the first three games go with who's filling in for him. Right. That's the only thing that I would be worried about. If, like, everything is good and he comes back off of that, you know, suspension, but they're winning and the rookies maintaining. And I think they signed a running back, too, if I'm not mistaken, or they were looking at one to sign, like, recently. So I think they brought in Cook, I believe. Hmm. I yeah, know but, Cook was on the cusp of either going to Miami or going over to the Jets. But right. I don't remember. I think it was Kareem was Hunt. Too. I think it was Kareem Hunt, I actually. Oh, oh, that's right. It was Hunt. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I think it was it Kareem was Hunt. Hunt. But did he have did, did, did he get but signed? That's what I'm yeah. saying. Did he get signed? Not yet. No, but that's what I'm saying. I think if Kareem Hunt goes there and then you got the rookie and things are good, like, I, I mean – with the whole situation with them not wanting to pay running backs and stuff, I think they're just going to – if the rookie's doing well or hunt on the cheek, they, yeah, they might just fun. rock out with that. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, there were actually – there was rumors about him getting traded last year, so I don't know. But um, it's it's one of them tough things, man. I'm uh, Me personally in the draft, if I'm going receiver, receiver, that's kind of like who I'm targeting as a running back is Kamara, just to, since he's suspended, and to try to, you know, 
have a decent running back, you know, but I don't know. I think it's just going to depend on how the rookie performs and if they sign someone like Kareem Hunt or Fournette that's still out there to, you know, take up some of them snaps yeah. until he gets back. But um, I'm like 50-50 on that one, which you can that's fine. That's your opinion. The first one I like, though. <laughs> I just think it's just gonna it's just gonna go with it's just gonna depend on those first three games where he, when he's out. Right. I got gotcha. you. Well, my uh, my last guy. This whole offense last year was not very good, but now they got a new head coach. I think he'll bounce back. Even though he did was nicked up last year too, and I think the quarterback will have a better play. Denver Broncos. I, I, th- I think Jerry Jews is going to be a very, very good wide receiver. Oh. You can have him. Oh, <laughs> man. Uh, I guess you had him too, huh? No. Y- y- not last year. Man, not I- almost. Last year, man, it was, oh, man. Somebody in my league handcuffed him and uh, Sutton, Russ and Sutton. And they thought they were going to win it all. You guys oh. know how that played out. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. But, so, see, I think, I think, I think what we – all right, so last year, was it the coach or was it Russell? That's what they – I think that's where they're lighting the dumpster fire at, you know, just because they just don't want to believe they made that bad trade, but – Right, I mean, right, like, 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 are we? Yeah, it was looking see, so good, right? Now right, are we, did we see? Are we, did we? Are we seeing the last of Russell Wilson here? You know what I mean? Like more of it being that that was a bad team. Don't get me wrong; they were a bad team, but Russell Wilson went over there and looked like shit on a stick. Like, I mean, my man. Like I said, teams could be bad, but when you look bad, that's a that's something else too. Like. So I, I, I got to see his play to, 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 to trust any of them receivers, you know, on Denver. I agree. Right. I agree. It's all on Because I, I, I drafted his ass last year. Now, now I feel you're paying with that. I drafted Russell Wilson right. last right. year. I'm like, so I'm like, he's see that, The only thing to Kev's, to Kev's uh, credit, I think Russ is uh, one of those guys that took it to heart. And is going to come out strong and try to do what he can do, but mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know if he still has the ability <clears> to do that. That's the thing. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I know he's probably training hard and trying to prove everybody wrong that he's still got it and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But um, and they do have the weapons there. I mean, they did have the running back that got hurt, Williams, last year. Yeah, they had a lot of injuries. They had a lot of things going on and the new system, and then you know the whole coaching situation. But um. I mean, I could see it, but then again, it's like you got to show me at this point. Right, right. But right, I, I'm right, not right. – I think where all these guys are going in the draft is like, man, I, I'd rather just draft somebody else. The only one that I like is Williams over there. And then you have um, – they picked up Pirine from uh, Cincinnati. So now you got a loaded backfield to take, you know, Gore, uh, what is it, uh, Melvin Gordon's uh, snaps. You know, and yeah. he's actually, you know, one of those scat backs that catches out the backfield, too. So they got two mm-hmm. of the same running backs, which was weird, but um, maybe because of injury. But uh, I do like the running back, Williams. That's the only one that I do like. And Judy is like a coin flip for me, depending where he falls in the draft. They got so far, this was just updated a couple of days ago. They got him ranked 42, Jerry Judy. Right. right. And, that's, and that's ahead of. You know, Calvin Ridley and Kevin are the two guys I brought up. You know, it makes sense because he's the number one. It makes sense. Right. But, right time out, too. Right. After, after the top three, one, four or five tight ends, I do like their tight end. I think it's Do- Dolich, Dol- Dolchich or something like that. He's yeah, actually like – he actually – because, I mean, he, he really utilizes the tight end. But I do yeah. – uh, I could see him having a good year, but I don't know, man. I just – even, like, at the, the tailwind in Seattle was, like, a little, like, iffy, you know, with all the weapons that he had over there, too. I mean, he had freaking, you know, Lockett. You had freaking, obviously, 
D- DK over there, and he had a solid running game behind him there as well. But um, I don't know. I think Seattle fleeced him on that trade, man. Fleeced him. Yeah, yeah. They so got far. It. Yeah, but yeah. I, hopefully, it was the coach for Denver's I, fans. He, <laughs> but yo, it like Russell didn't look great in that first preseason game. He did. I, 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 I ain't see it. I ain't see too much of that. Like, yeah. yeah, because they was trying to hide it. That that was right. really trying to hide it. Like he was almost getting about to get yelled at. Like, but it's yeah, he didn't have a good game. But now, granted, no, he only he only played like a like a series or two. So, right. and not like he had a whole lot of time to really show anything, but it's definitely uh, in Russell and uh, in Russell we trust. And right now, unfortunately, I just don't trust him. And because of that, I can't trust really anybody on that team. Like I said, except for the tight end. That would make sense because uh, Russell. Jump off. No, he's all. They're going yeah, to be so behind. Gonna, gonna, tight end. That's why I like the running back too, though. Both of them catch out the backfield. So I'm thinking they're going to be down. They're going to be in competitive games. They have to catch, come back. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's some value there, but where these guys are going, there's a lot of people there that I'd rather go the other way. Yeah. Which we'll see on the draft. But. Mm-hmm. So, all right. So, look, I have a question for y'all. Gone, gone by fantasy, and and that was good. That were good choices, decent choices, good conversation, Kev. And though I disagree with half of them, but good, <laughs> good conversation. All that, right, but that seems pretty asking, normal. But asking, asking y'all guys, if y'all guys had number one pick in your fantasy draft, number one, whatever player that you want, and say that the league is the PPR, who are y'all grabbing? Number one overall. Now, Joel, I just want to warn you. I know. We're, we're in, in the together. I'm league. number one. Right. I know. So. You're not going to skew my choice. It doesn't matter because I'm I'm eight in that dr- in that league, <laughs> so it's not like he's going to fall to me. So I don't have no problem talking about it. But, <laughs> he's not going to fall. To me. All right, so so here's the deal. I, I I actually have a third pick in a different draft, and I kind of see what's going on at the top of the draft just from doing a few mock drafts and stuff like that. But um, if I had the first choice, like. My instinct tells me to go Jefferson, but what's coming back to me, I'd rather take uh, Christian McCaffrey. Mm. Yeah, that's what I was San Fran. I mean, like, obviously you always got the injury factor with him, but San Fran utilizes the running back so much. Like, I think the value's there. Like, it's just too much, too much, too much positive things there. He's on a competitive team. They're actually going to utilize him a lot more. I, I just, I just can't, I can't take, I cannot take like Jefferson over McCaffrey. That's just my opinion. I mean, hmm. if he was in Carolina, then it would have been easier for me to take Jefferson over him. Mm-hmm. But him being on a, on Shan, Kyle Shanahan's team and actually going, he's going to use him. And they have packages for him. You got a little concern with Debo when they do that, but I don't think they're going to do that with having McCaffrey back there. I don't think so. I mean, every now and then, I think they might do it, but a lot less than they used to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, but me personally, I would do that. Like that's that's where I would go with one. Yeah, I, I had to piggyback. You know, what I mean, right. what Joe said. That's what I was thinking. Like you said, you said a PPR league. Um, and, and to Joe, Joel's point, man, about, about how San Fran utilized them running backs. Uh, I mean, yeah, they're they going to use Christian to, to the best of their ability and every every chance they get because um, a Purdy not starting the season on, on the active roster. Is, no, he, I, think, I think he is. I think he's on target. I think yeah. he's, they, on, they, he's on target to start the season, is he? They, they're, is they he? were – there was a report saying that they have no restrictions on him now, so he can go off and do whatever he wants. To. Right, right. He's full. Okay, all right. Because I was just thinking, if it's Trey Lance, <laughs> I don't know about that. But um, but no, if Purdy and them, man, uh, they definitely because yo, that's who that's who McCaffrey said when he first got traded there. He said when he go in the film room and they had practice and then he's obviously meeting you know the, the players on the team. He's, he's getting 
on getting that brotherhood. He says the first guy and the main guy who was talking to him, and this was even before Bull was a start, was Brock Purdy. He said Brock Purdy taught him the uh, playbook, uh, you know, when he was confused about certain plays. He said Purdy was the one giving him knowledge. And the, so so pretty much, and the, the reason why I'm, I guess I'm telling the story is because they was just asking uh, McCaffrey if, they, if he believed in Purdy, you know, as far as like running that team. And he was like, I damn sure know he know the plays, you know what I'm saying? Because he was like, when I first got here, he told me the playbook in and out. So the plays that you see dude made, that he made when he did take over for the Niners, is because that motherfucker know that playbook. And he right. know where certain players going to be. So I like so, Brock Purdy. Yeah, yeah. I like, so I like, I like Brock Purdy for Christian McCaffrey. You know what I mean? That's why I said if that's his quarterback, I'd go with him first pick, for sure. Right. All right, Kev. Yeah, I mean, if it was up to me, it's between McCaffrey and, to me, I think Jamar Chase. I think Jamar Chase is going to have over 100 yards catching this, or like 100 catches this year. He would have had if he didn't get hurt last year. So, to me, and plus, better better quarterback. Right, obviously, yeah. What what, what did we call Kirk Cousins last week, uh, Tone? Oh, uh, Solar Kirk. (laughs) (laughs) Solar (laughs) Kirk. Solar Kirk. He only went in the daytime. <laughs> he don't work at night. I said, God damn, that's fucked up, man. <laughs> don't look curious. His headlights in his car don't, don't work either. That's what it is. He's like, oh, man. So look cool. Yo, yeah, so. To me, like, it's right? McCaffrey and Chase for me. Now, it's, somebody said something real compelling to me uh, the other day. Well, a couple weeks ago. Kev, I think it was around two. Yeah, I cut it off by accident. It's a, it's a button. Uh, but uh, Kev was a, uh, was right there too. And somebody said, you know what? I was thinking hard. I got the number one pick. I may go Travis Kelsey. And my first my first reaction was, that's stupid. Why would you go and grab a tight end? Number one overall pick. And then I started looking at his numbers. I was right there with you. Don't do it. I was right there with you. Don't do it. Don't do it. My man averaged like 25, 30 points a game, dog. I was like, oh, oh. Uh, He had had receiving numbers. He had overheard catches. No, I I, I agree. Kelsey's a monster. Monster, man. But this is the thing. So, So do exactly what you just said, right? I've been, dude, I'll, I'll be putting in work with this shit, bro. So, <laughs> here's the deal. You could take McCaffrey, right? On the way back, you got Devontae Smith there, right? Mm-hmm. That's probably, dude, he's going to be good, right? But you also have the number two tight end there and Andrews sitting there. Yeah, that's true. So you could add those three numbers up between that receiver or, you know, if you like Amari Cooper being the number one over in Cleveland, you know, and then you also have a couple other good receivers there that are still bringing – obviously not no Justin Jefferson or Chase numbers, but if you're trying to take – because Andrews is there on that – on you know, when it tails back, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But um, and he's the number two, and he's like obviously he's not putting up Kelsey's numbers, but he's not far behind. So like that's my thing with it, where I was looking at it and doing different mock drafts, and I'm like, all right, let me do receiver, receiver, running back, receiver, or running back, tight end, receiver, whatever combination, mm-hmm. and you end up with more points. Obviously, that's with hitting on McCaffrey or you know Eckler at the top end, whatever. But right. I mean. I'm giving you too much information because you're in my league, but no, nah, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> no, but but I just feel as though like if you take the receiver when you come back, and now you got to take a running back, the running back value versus the receiver value, yeah, or the tight end value coming back on the second and third pick is not that great. Yeah, running back versus you taking yeah, because yeah, yeah. you're not going to get someone there near. near 
uh, Devontae Smith's value or a top receiver that's coming back on that snake draft on the snake and or the tight end, you're going to, you're going to sit there and you're like, damn, this is a significant drop off and a huge question mark. If you're going to hit on that guy or not, but I mean, um, that's just big, me. Piggybacking off what you said, Joel, the best uh, year Andrews had was 2021. He had 107 catches for 1300 yards. Right. And where was Kelsey at? I mean, obviously he's a receiver and he's not even the tight end. <laughs> uh, right. And Kelsey had Kadarius Tony, because I think he's going to still, he's going to do better than Juju. I think uh, we all could agree on in that. In 2021, Kelsey had 92 catches for 1,100 yards. So he had a oh, better wow. year. He had a better year than Kelsey. Right. Yeah, that That's was Lamar's MVP and, season, wasn't it? Right, and I, mm-hmm. I feel as though Lamar has a lot more supporting cast around him, as far yeah, as Lamar receivers. and Lamar got that back. J.K. Dobbins, hopefully he's freaking healthy to have a run threat. And they, and they got Odell, right? They got Odell. They got now. Melvin Gordon right. over there, just in case. You Melvin got Gordon, yep. obviously Edwards over there still. So I think they got a better team, and um, I don't know, man. To me, like I. I, and I love Kelsey, man. I would love to get him. I'm hoping I get him at eight in our league, but I don't think that's happening. But yeah, um, if, if he if he goes past me, number one, it's possible. He's going to go at seven. I, I forget who's that guy that's in our league, man, with the tattoos all the time on his legs. I forget his freaking name. Oh, wow. He always has him. He, all, he does the Kelsey Mahomes thing. Uh-oh. You know who it is. He's been in the league forever. Yes. What you mean? What you what you mean? He do the Kelsey Mahomes thing? What he do? He always ends up with him. He does oh, he the, won, oh, he just had the quarterback. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. He always go with that combo. Right. He always go with that combo. At, I was looking at who who was in front of me. I'm like, all right, he's not taking him. I was like, that's the one. Unless somebody mm-hmm. falls. But. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Anyway, so yeah, but remember, I'm old school to 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 the end, bro. I can't pick a tight end number one overall. It's going to be a running back because I have to, because just like y'all said, running back after, like after the first round, they gone. You're gonna end up with Miles Sanders. That's what's going yes. yeah. And 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 on a, a wish and a prayer that you can grab Kamara coming back. Right. Yes, because yeah, he, he, he got them three games on his head, right? Yep, right. So, no, nah, it's like it's chances are it's probably going to be the my top three that I'm thinking of is going to be Christian McCaffrey, it has to be Austin Eckler, and Jonathan Taylor. One of those three is going to have to be is that is going to have to be the one overall pick in my eyes. It's just a matter of which one, yeah. JT back in practice, too, yeah. He's healthy. He's not doing the holdout no more. He's he's healthy, huh? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> no, he ain't, ain't healthy. Yo, they just don't. They don't be wanting to go through training camp, dog. That's what they do, man. And plus, it's time for him to get that bag. And you know, right. they ain't giving these running backs these bags, man. Yeah. It's, it's I. It, it's it's a shame because in football, God, my number one, my number one position in football my whole entire life has always been running back i always loved the running back position mm-hmm. like that's always the most exciting position that i always looked for that i always watched and it's like it's a shame because the value isn't like they're not valued like i used to look at them you know what i mean which is crazy man because i mean you asking them to block you're asking them to catch you're asking them to run you know what i mean not that you're not asking the uh, wide receivers and tight ends to do that, but I mean, they don't do it every play. Except, they do exactly. running backs. Running backs get hit every play. I mean, right. other than the offensive you either doing line. a block, you oh, block when you run it, or you got a fucking run. <laughs> right. I mean, it's crazy, you run it. even when they run a route. You know what I mean? The linebackers will follow him. He might hit his ass when he come out. It's like you know, break his route up, like. Running backs, right. they go, they go through it, boy. 
and they don't get shit. And you you've been seeing it a lot. I mean, look at Todd Gurley. He was the prime example. They right. used him to the ground. Ran him into the ground. Yep. They got no- and and then look at Zeke. I mean, he he plundered mm-hmm. after he got the his contract. No, the one the one guy that gets utilized the most. Oh man, they they man. I was gonna say something crazy, but Eckler, man, Eckler. I was gonna say something real reckless on here, but uh, Eckler is getting overutilized, man. That's all I'm gonna say. That's that's why I'm scared of drafting uh, B. John Robinson in the top ten. Right. I'm scared Ooh, for his career too. I, I don't see who, it. Who, who, I, who? I'm, I'm scared. Who's for his the quarterback, yo? Who they quarterback? Exactly. Uh, that's Ritter. That's Ritter. Is, exactly. I can't. I'm yeah, not. I'm trouble. staying away from Atlanta. That. In trouble. Yeah, Atlanta is in trouble. And then Kyle Pitts still over there too, ain't he? Yep. Right. He wanted to throw the ball to himself. Sure. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yo, but but it's funny because you know if anybody remember like running down the running back down to where he had nothing is you, Tone, Demarco Murray. Right, they used and abused that man, and I mean, well, he, 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 he was like, he didn't want to cut. He he ran for eighteen hundred yards that one year. Uh, Chip Kelly thought he stole him a gem, and that boy just ran right into retirement after that. Like, what, <laughs> right. what the hell? Like, where did, like what happened, bro? Like, well, well, I mean, I did see a stat. I believe it was twenty. I think it was Demarco Murray's first year. In Tennessee, he was top oh, yeah, ten or yeah, top five yeah. in rushing. Yeah, yeah, he had a, he had a decent. Yeah, he, he actually did go there and it do was well. Twenty sixteen, first year. Yeah, because yeah, I remember Zeke there. was the leading rusher that year. Yeah, he did go. He did go and do and do okay in Tennessee that one year. Yeah, he did. Go figure. Go figure. Yeah, I think he yeah. ended up in fifth or sixth. Yeah, that's well, go figure. All right, so. uh Looking at preseason week one, we saw teams, we saw highlights. We already kind of know your answer, Joel, but I'm actually interested. It has to be a sleeper. It has to be a number of teams that's going to be out there that's like, wow, we wasn't expecting that team to go ahead and have the season that they are. I, I have to hear from y'all now before the season starts. This is like, all right, Tom, you was right. Like, all right, Kev, you was 100% wrong. And, Kev, I know who you're going to pick, and I already disagree. I think. I think I know who you're going to pick. But I, I have to hear from y'all. Sleepers for the year. I, I'm going to let Kev go first or Tone, and then I'll go last if Kev don't want to go. But um, I don't want to – I think me and him got the same team. So if he picks that team, then I'll pick somebody else. All right. So what I'll do is I'll go first. Since, since okay. y'all two mate, y'all two may have the same team. Um, my sleeper pick team of the year is going to be the Cleveland Browns. Ah. I believe uh, Deshaun. Had a, had a, I, I mean, I don't know what he had, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna assume he had a good off season. Um, you know, what I mean, got in the building beginning of the year, went through training camp. You know, what I mean, he, he, he got had, a lot of he, massages. You know, what I mean, he, he 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 flirted obviously with the team last year, coming through playing. You know, what I mean, get got acclimated a little bit. I think this year he gets back to the DW. You know, what I mean, we want seen him before. He got some weapons. Um, I ain't saying they're going to make the playoffs or anything, but I, I expect them to be to, – to, you know, have some of the, the wins where, you, where it might be a push you think is a pushover game. They're going to come to play. They're going to win some football games this year. Okay. Okay, okay. There's a couple teams I have in mind. But I'm actually going to stay in the same division with Tone. I'm I'm going with Pittsburgh. I oh. think I think Pittsburgh is a sleeper to make the postseason this year. Really? 
with their weapons they have on offense, I think Pickett's going to have a pretty decent year now. He's got a year under his belt. I mean, and that defense, TJ Watt, one of my favorite players in the league. He always brings every year. And then Tomlin's record, you know, it, it stands. He never has a bad season. He never has an under 500 season ever. So I, I believe the Steelers would make some noise in that division. Not saying win it, but give Denver – or not Denver, excuse me. Uh, Baltimore, Cincinnati, and then what Tony said with Cleveland. Damn, damn, Cass fan, that, damn, that division is going to be okay. Yeah. That, that division should be okay. That's going to be a fun division to watch. Man. Go ahead, Joel. Go ahead, Pressure Mitch. Uh, those black and gold. Go ahead. Ah, man. Um, man. I'm a little torn between <laughs> two teams. I mean, if you want the sleeper sleeper, I think I want to go with New Orleans. I think they're going to have a bounce back year. I think they have a, a bunch of good weapons there that they could put something together. They have obviously you got Carr over there now where, you know, he's, you know, he, he has to do something now. You know what I mean? So I, I think uh, the New Orleans Saints uh, should have a bounce back year. You got the Bucks. That division is going to be a little weird because you got the Bucks with Baker now. You got Carolina, you know, a little – and Atlanta. You know what I mean? So I think they could pull that. They could pull that division out. Yeah, um, that's, they that's could. right. I mean, you got a huge question mark in Atlanta with the quarterback. You got the same situation down Tampa. You got the same situation in Carolina. I mean, that, that division is wide open. And Tom Brady's not there. A lot of new coaches in that division. And um, you know, I, I just like the quarterback and the stability that they have, as far as you know what what they put together around that team. And um, I, I just like that team, man. I agree. And off of like real quick jumping when I was thinking about this at first, the team that I thought of was actually the Saints. Right. Originally. Because and Kev mentioned it like a couple – our first, first, uh, first episode, he mentioned mm-hmm. something along those lines as well. Um, that's who I thought he was going to pick, but he went Pittsburgh and, you know. So. And it's I don't I don't love Derek Carr, right. but I, I like him. He's efficient. He's efficient. Yeah, and that may be exactly kind of what they need. You know what I mean? Right. Like somebody's not going to throw a whole lot of picks, like Winston. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Somebody that's actually going to uh, actually throw the ball, not just run it all the time like their backup quarterback. Right. Should just be a good dag on running back or a tight end, but anyway, uh, yeah. So, my, my pick I was thinking of originally was actually them, and then I start thinking of actually the Jaguars. So, right. now I know the Jaguars is a was already a playoff team, so yeah, right. it's not like there's not like a true, true sleeper, but I really see them making some noise this year. You talking about Tom yeah, Brady. It's for real. I think they're just going to – last year it was a surprise. This year I feel like the Jaguars is going to show everybody they're for real. Like, I mean, they added some pieces. And then not only that, you got, you know, the running back, a year under his belt. You got – there's a lot of good positive things coming out of that team, man. Obviously, we forgetting, we we forgetting one team, though, y'all. We forgetting one team who finished the season kind of, kind of strong. Well, on a positive note, I should say. The Detroit Lions, y'all. I thought you was gonna say Detroit. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They 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 actually finished the season pretty strong, and um, you know they they still had a chance, I think, to make the playoffs because of that because of that way that division was. Right. Yeah. Um, up, up until you know, last week. Year. Right. Right. And yeah. I think this year they 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 take they, they, they actually take that division. I just. I was never – Minnesota, Minnesota is the only team really probably that they got to really worry about. What, you don't like Jordan Love, man? No love for Love? No, 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 no. I ain't saying – I don't think he going – I don't think he going – I don't think Green Bay is the top of the division because of him. I, I just don't like Goff. Like, he just – uh, I don't know. 
He's just. Bro, he, I mean, I ain't saying I ain't saying he's good or bad, but he, he they finished the season kind of decent last year. I mean, with him at quarterback. So now, now what do you um, think of Chicago? Phil's got. I got to see what Phil's. I, I I don't think Phil's uh, is going to be a bad quarterback. I just need to see him a little. I see him. He got to grow. He got to grow a little bit. I'm all over Chicago, man. We'll we'll, we'll get into that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you you like that situation down there? Well, I mean, I'm trying to hold off until we talk about our sleepers and stuff. Well, not really a sleeper, but, man, I'm all over DJ Moore. That's all I got to say. Hey, that's, that's all I got to say. That's the whole Carolina. He played Carolina ball, right? He that yeah, ball. yeah with, what, with what right. quarterback? Right, yeah. And he was a beast over there. Right. But it's but just like you said, Tone, it's, it's all about Justin Fields to me. It's like right. everybody, everybody, and you hear all these people is like, yeah, he's gonna have the same leap and the same jump that Jalen Hurst had. That's no guarantee, right? Right. There's no you guarantee you gonna have that type of jump like Jalen had. Jalen had a jump that nobody saw coming. No. Nah. Like not that type of jump, and now you're mm-hmm. saying like, oh yeah, this man's going to have that jump. No, I can't. I no. You can't, I don't think you can't he's gonna that. be like that, but I think he's gonna have a significant a better year. improvement. Uh, right, and right. When you got somebody like DJ Moore, that is just dude. He's a playmaker, man. I mean, he reminds me of of Debo a little bit, and now he has a better quarterback, man. Like I, I just think, I think he's gonna be a good receiver like this year for fantasy, man. Like I'm all over it, man. Like if I if I could get him in, in any of my leagues, I'm going after him. All right, so here's my question. Would you draft Justin Fields in, like, the third? Not in the third? I, listen, I'm, first of all, I'm not drafting any quarterback to the end until I fill my team. I mean, like, you got Aaron. I'd rather take Aaron Rodgers late. He's going late. You know what I mean? If I can handcuff him, depending on what I got with the team. But, I mean, you always got to worry about him getting hurt. You draft in the third. Third, fourth round pick on Justin Fields. Like, I mean, I, I'm cool. I'm just Somebody saying, you got, a, have you got a whole lot of faith in Moore, but you got to have faith in right. Justin Fields in order for you have faith in Moore. Right, because right. yeah, if he if he getting busy, Moore going to be getting – I mean, if Moore getting busy, then Fields getting right. busy. Right. right. <laughs> no, and I, and I do have faith in him, but where he's going at in the draft is a little too rich for me. Oh, yeah, third I mean, round, though. No, for sure. Yeah, no. third round, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, that's like the, if if anything, that's probably the round. I would somebody say may fifth, take a quarterback. if he's there fifth, if he's there in the fifth round, which is possible. Like that's that's where I've been seeing him go. The, where you got him at on your on the rankings, Kev? I was gonna say the where rankings going for the quarterbacks fifth. is like crazy because you got you got Mahomes, Allen, and Hurts back to back to back to uh, twenty seven uh, in the second round, second round, second round, right? And then on uh, that circle back. Then you and got Justin, the next one. And then Justin Fields is at 56. So that's fifth round. Four fifth round. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You yeah, said third fifth, round. Yeah, fifth, 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 fifth. You said third round. I'm like, eh. Who the third fifth, round six. is? Who, 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 who like 36? In the, who's in that 36? To like Fields, Fields is, the, is the fourth ranked quarterback. Right. Fourth ranked. Yes. Right. But so, he, so wait, 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 wait. wait. Fifth, so fifth, after fifth, them three, after them three you named. He, He's the it's next that. quarterback named, and yes. I'd rather what? have I'd rather have Lawrence or Herb. What? Him. Hold on, Justin Herbert. He's ranked better than Justin Herbert. That's what I'm saying. Herbert I'd sixty one. Herb- I'd rather How? have Herbert. Get the fuck out of here. Who did that? Dude, listen, that's Put what that I'm saying. Together, I'd rather man. have Justin Herbert, Trevor Lawrence over Justin Fields. Who put that? Where together? they're going versus. Fields. But I'll still take DJ Moore. Yeah. <laughs> he won't take the quarterback. What uh, DJ Moore playing quarterback and wide receiver. <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is you're gonna get the same production out of these guys. And right, you're gonna get right. them way to Right, right. But He's no, that's crazy. Up. No, 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 that's crazy though. Kansas just dropped that bomb though. I I bored him. I messed up about that. Justin Fields is the fourth-ranked quarterback in the 
Wow. Wow. Guaranteed because it's well, they young. they must they must know something that we don't. I mean. Yeah, I mean, he must go to have the leave. running ability and all that stuff, but I yeah, because because Lamar, me, Lamar's tell, the... I'm, I'm taking not that I'm taking the ball out of his hands, but I'll tell Fields like, yo, you the franchise quarterback, like you need to stop running. That's why we got you, DJ Moore. You need to start passing more. Yeah, I mean, Lamar is the next quarterback rank, and that's Joe Burrow. And I would take Lamar Jackson over him. Right, and like, Joe Burrow. Oh my God, dang! Oh man, you can have him. I'll take him. Oh, man. Yep, you can have him. My man was Burn. hurt every year, and he didn't get the bag. I can imagine what he's going to do this year. Who? Who? Lamar. Uh, he said he was hurt every year, Davey Vince. Uh, <laughs> you got Odell over there. He he the, yeah, he going to be hurt, too. <laughs> gonna be hurt. Who, Odell going to be hurt? I know. Yeah. yeah, yeah I'm, wait, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see what he do, Mr. Twenty Million Demanding dude. I want to see what he do. Yeah, me too. I want to know what boat he gonna be on with Tim's on and no shirt. <laughs> <laughs> like, I guess I have no faith in these boys, man. Look, I, I, it was, it was in Lamar I trust for so many years, mm-hmm. and then next thing you know, he just limping off. I'm like, what happened? Like, like he was just killing it and done, and it's. No, nah, I, 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 I can't, I can't rock out with my man. I can't. Not That's year. my favorite division, though. Now man. watch our that, draft. Though. That division is gonna be crazy. A lot of good teams, a lot of competition there. It's crazy in that division. Well, this whole football season is, it's either gonna be like we had before, just weird, unpredictable. Like everything that happened last year, we didn't, we couldn't predict that. That was everything that happened last year was crazy. Nobody thought the KC when no wide receivers were going to go and have the run they did. You know what I mean? Joe Burrow was going to like lose the way that they did. Right. Now it's so I'm hoping it's like we're going to have one of those outrageous type seasons again this year. Yeah, yeah, that's what you want, man. Excitement. All right, look, look, we we actually been on for a whole hour. <laughs> so right. Uh, so I think now is actually a good time to go ahead and close this out. Uh, appreciate y'all gentlemen uh, being here to go ahead and talk this good talk. We appreciate y'all guys for catching in, listening in, watching in, uh, and all the other good jazz. Look, prepare yourselves to start seeing this podcast, not just on YouTube. We're going to start streaming it also on uh, Spotify as well as Apple Podcasts extremely soon. So uh, look for this episode, episode three, and on to possibly be on those uh, platforms as well to give you guys a little bit more access to uh, to just listen to us while y'all guys are working or doing whatever that y'all guys do. But I uh, just want to kind of just put this out there for y'all guys, uh, put out there available for y'all in every kind of way possible. Uh, and hey, look, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. All the other good stuff that we always say when on YouTube. Go ahead and do all those things. We appreciate every single one of y'all guys and y'all guys listening and watching. Guys, any last words y'all want to go ahead and say before we pull out? Oh, pause whoa, on that. Whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa. Oh, but listen, whoa, whoa. Friday, laugh the pain away. My poetically infused comedy show. Tickets are still available, man. So y'all follow me on Instagram at Tony Promoter. The link is in my bio. Tickets twenty five dollars right now. Come out, man! If you ain't doing nothing on Friday, come out, laugh with your boy, man. Always a good show. Always a good show. And and good job with you no know, always doing that tone. That's that's always a good time. And it's a safe, fun environment, full yeah. of adult yeah. type adulting type things. It's, right. it's, a, it's a good right. show. Yeah. So please hit up tone the promoter. Check out his stuff, man. Yo, he's always promoting some incredible, including that that, that comedy show. Incredible. Anything else, guys? Uh, I just can't wait to be right and Larry to be wrong. (laughs) Man, shots fired. (laughs) What? I just can't Damn. wait to be right and to be and wrong. Be wrong. Okay. Now, wait, what are we, what are we talking about? Because, sure you, you took your shot earlier. 
What? Oh, yeah. What we talking about? <laughs> yeah, we we we're talking about we we're, were talking about we we're talking about sleepers, and he's oh, like, sleepers. and then Kevin, uh, he said, he goes, like "Oh yeah, Kevin would be wrong. You know, it's whatever." Oh man. Uh, no, he thought. You know, I ain't gonna front. I ain't gonna front. It was, it was kind of funny. I, I was laughing inside. I was like, damn, why he had to say, why he had to say, Kev was gonna be wrong, though. He said, he was like, oh yeah, Tom, you talking he was about right, Tom, right? The Steelers. That's what you talking about? Yeah, right, right. Well, well, that was before. Was that before you gave your pick? Was before or was it I had it? Yeah, it was before I gave my pick. Yeah, right. It was uh, before, right? And he was like, damn, well, I gotta be wrong. Why Tom can't be wrong? Yeah, like, <laughs> it was just an example. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you don't gotta say me. No, you know, two other you people can. here, man. Yeah, I, I feel you, Kev. I feel you, Kev. He's picking on you, right? Yeah, that, yeah, that was a shot. I don't care what anyone took says. a mental note of that one, man. Yeah. 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 I always do. I always oh, do. Man. It's always on the that. <laughs> this dude's like, I'm gonna get you back. Yeah, now nah, you gonna front. I, I remember that one for you, Kev. Don't, don't. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Whatever. I can't wait to be wrong. All right. Now that was official. You're gonna be wrong. I wanna laugh at your face. Hey right. yo, no, no, but wait, wait, real quick though, Larry, did you write down all our did you write down who we said though? Yep. Okay. Well, okay. I, I even have down tone how you kind of segue yourself over into Detroit too. I got it. Oh no, I didn't. I, I got I didn't it. Say. I got it. <laughs> no, I was just saying. Like, no, I I ain't say I wanted to like switch my pick. I'm still Cleveland, but I was saying we forgot about the trial. I don't think yeah, nobody yeah, even mentioned you, mentioned. You it. slid right over there, bro. Right, just, just <laughs> right, that's my that's, that's my that's my one day answer. That's my one day. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah just yeah. in case. <laughs> Like I might as well make en- I might as well make enemies amongst everybody now. All right. Yeah. <laughs> he put tone like, the promoter eight mile. Eight <laughs> mile. <laughs> Yeah. All, right, all right, no problem. Yeah, yeah, I, I got it all written down, Tone. We're good. I got you. Right, my Bring man, it right back my to man. your memory. Soon as soon as the Steelers end up being like one and nine, I'm gonna walk right over mm. to Kev. Right. And be like, how about what's Tomlin's record? What, what you said Tomlin was? <laughs> Steel City, baby. Steel right. City. You and Stephen A. Smith are gonna be crying in the corner. Right, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, any last words, Joel? Nah, man, thank you guys for tuning in. Just, you know, support, support, support what we're doing. Just trying to, you know, bring you guys different aspects of the sports world. That's it. Thank you, guys. And that's it. Once again, once just echoing what Joel and what the team said, look, we appreciate y'all guys' attention. We appreciate y'all guys just uh, clicking in and just, just riding out with us. We really appreciate y'all guys. More to come. We have so much more that's in our memory banks of what we're planning on doing for y'all guys. So just hold on. Keep on riding along with us. We, it's going to be a fun ride. This whole entire season is going to be fantastic. At least it's NFL season. But remember, we're talking more than just NFL. This is GNT Sports, baby. We have a whole lot more uh, coming to us. So here we go. We're, this is going to be a fun time. Thank y'all, gentlemen. Appreciate y'all. We out. Peace. All right. Thank y'all. Let's get it.